When you harvest an animal like this, whether you do or you don't, that's not the point. The point is being out here and enjoying the wilderness and just living life, breathing the fresh air, sitting around a campfire and telling stories at night. That's what it's about. Hey Jake, when Dave tells you to slowly stand up. Okay, she's gonna get up. So we're back in the wild places of the Yukon. We've had one hunt that was unsuccessful. We spent a week out in the mountains and we were seeing the same bulls day after day. We had some bad luck and teammate got sick and we had to get out. We're kind of at the 11th hour of our hunting season. We're coming toward the end of October. We've got like 11 days left in the season. So right now we're feeling the pressure. You know, we're being pushed from behind and it's like, let's get after it. Let's go see if we can't get ourselves a good bull and then turn this around and go back in the mountains for a sheep. You know, if we did everything by backpack, then this would be the last hunt of the year. So that's our plan. We've got the Argos loaded up and we're going after mountain caribou. in a very similar location, but we're a lot later in the season now. So right now, we're kind of hoping that those bulls are starting to move into the areas where they're gonna be breeding and congregating into bigger numbers and larger groups. We're toward the end of October, and that should be happening right now. Prior to this hunt, when we were in the mountains in September, uh, the caribou really weren't moving, and we are finding a lot of the same bulls on the same mountain. We're almost there, wherever that is starting to gain some elevation and we're following this old exploration trail right now. We're just starting to get into the snow. We're gonna kind of continue on this trail as far as it'll go. We have about two hours left of daylight, so we do have to kind of keep moving to try to get into that country where we can set up a camp for the night anyways. We have snow on the tops of the mountains, but down further there just isn't any. It's definitely not typical. We've had all kinds of weather this year and for us to have great weather like this right now, we'll take it and uh, smile, that's for sure. Getting a little bit more elevation, a little bit more open country. We're getting there. Basically, we're above tree line right now, and as soon as we got up here, in the snow, you can start to see caribou tracks. So we're in the right spot, I think. I didn't see anything really fresh, and I don't know when the last snowfall was here. It's probably not too long ago, but definitely we've got tracks up on the tops where kind of I expected the caribou to be here, expect to see them. But right now it's about 6.30 and we're gonna lose sun here soon. And as soon as that sun goes down, it's gonna get cold and it's gonna get cold fast. We better keep moving and find ourselves a good spot for the night. It's 
So we just got to the top of the mountain and I started glassing off in the distance and then came back to the same mountain we're on and I can see a pile of caribou right up on the top. I'm gonna try to take a look at him. Hopefully there's a bull in there, but it's getting pretty dark. Yeah, I think I, there's two up front, but they're just both little guys, I think. 13. I'm counting 13 animals. I can't get a really great look at this bull, but I only see one bull in the whole group. Um, he looks decent, but I can't get a really good look at him. Just because it's just getting dark and his antlers are, you know, right in the brown willow, so it's, they're all the same color. We're gonna start looking for a place to camp for the night. And then hopefully it's, you know, we find a spot here where we can actually do some glassing first thing in the morning, right from camp. can't see anything, not more than 200 yards. It's not gonna make for great caribou hunting. Trying to get out of the wind. This is about the, uh, the best spot up here right now to be out of the wind a bit. We're right at the tops of the mountains, around 5,000 feet. Getting these pegs out is not gonna be easy. Nope. I have to get the ax. So we decided to come down the mountain, drop into the valley, because up top we were just getting hammered by wind and it's way more comfortable down here. Sure, if it was just windy and you could see stuff, we would still be up there. The hunting is at a, at a minimum for sure. You just can't see very far, so you don't want to go chasing your tail for lack of a better term. This tent performed amazingly up in the wind this morning. Make up some breakfast. Hungry boys. We found her some fresh, fairly fresh sheep shit, so I mean it. Sheep shit, cranberries it's, and snow. When it's when it's fresh like this is good, but you know, if it's day old then it's not so good, so we don't bother. It's a heck of a lot more comfortable than it was on the top of the hill. And up there, you can't see absolutely anything. You kind of have to come prepared for basically winter conditions. And then if you get anything that's warmer than that, that's just a bonus. On a day like today, when you can't get out and hunt, for me, it's just kind of, just the little things that you, you try to do just to even just keep busy versus you know sitting in a tent or you know every now and again you get a glimpse of a side hill and you make sure you hit it with the glass. I know there's caribou up there because we saw them last night. Sometimes you just gotta build a big fire and stay warm. It's just between snow and rain down here, eh? Oh yeah, snow's starting to melt. Hold on, just one sec. Yep, sure is. So we gotta get the, the front off. Gotta release that clutch. We gotta take this off. This country is just so hard on gear. And when you're so far out of the way, any mechanical becomes just a huge issue. So we're gonna cut it. Probably been ready to go for a while. Let's change it up. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. That's it? That's it. That's about the fastest fix we've ever had at anything. As soon as I stop and put my glasses up, 
can see a, a cow and a calf down in the bottom. It's really tough to see with this snow and this flat light. Yeah, it's a cow and a calf. Alone. The minimal amount of time that we've actually even looked, we've seen more caribou in 20 minutes than we saw in seven days in September. That's a good sign. We're gonna walk to the hill behind me here and see if we can't do any glassing from there. But even though the conditions are this poor, let's go for a hike. That's pretty neat when you know, you can pick up two antlers side by side and they've been shed right beside each other. It doesn't happen that often. The weather's deteriorating. What had opened up a little bit, you know, a few hours ago is now closing back in. It's tough conditions. That's good. Working hard to try to find something in the worst conditions makes it real easy when the conditions are okay. I believe that most of these caribou are gonna be down in the valley and unfortunately for us, in order to be able to see them, you have to be up on the tops of these hills in the wind. So we're probably gonna go back, get something to eat, and hopefully things open up a little bit where we can actually see again. 